What's up, everybody? PJ Braun here, president of Blackstone Labs, and we are here outside of the beautiful Athletic Factory gym. We come here specifically for the hardcore stuff, especially on back day. I've been absent for some of the Project Freak videos. I apologize for the one where Sammy took my place. You guys did not like that. <laughs> so I am back as the coach where I rightfully belong, and we are five weeks out from Victor Martinez's show with Dane. He's in phenomenal shape. He is bigger than last time. I believe it was 256 pounds yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. And I brought in full off-season super strong Tristan to make sure that I can push him at the level that he needs to be pushed, and hopefully they feed off of each other's young testosterone and push each other really hard, because I'm old and tired. I'm just gonna be instructing. But we're gonna attack this back, and we're gonna bring out thickness in a different way that you guys might not always approach your back. And at the end, we're gonna open everything back up again, and we're gonna hit some shots so you guys can see the improvements that he has made in his journey to pro status and having a pro level back. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna get everything warmed up, lubricated first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up, but this is gonna be an active warm up. So we're gonna, we're gonna start out light and conservative and keep working our way up. All right, so we're starting seated fully and then they're gonna run over here to the stiff arm pull down. They're gonna do these upright. You guys have seen me do these bent over, but we're gonna stay upright for these today. We're gonna contract the lats real, real hard at the bottom. Arms stay totally still, and we're gonna squeeze. So the first thing that we do is get all the blood flowing in these rows. We're emphasizing the fact that they can go through a farther range of motion, full stretch, and then after they do that, they pop over to here. We're going 15 and 15 for each. So we started with two for you. So when he does this, I want him pulling his elbows back as far as he can. When he's using a handle or a bar, he's stuck right here. He's limited in his range of motion. With the rope, you can keep going farther and farther and squeeze that contraction deeper. I find this does a lot more for the thickness. It also is going to do a lot for the Christmas tree. We're contracting so hard back here. We'll come right over. What I like to do when somebody's doing this exercise is I feel right where the insertion is, just to make sure they're getting that mind-muscle connection and squeezing the whole time, which he is. Now you'll feel this all the way up, all the way up into the terrace minor where the attachment of the lat is, all the way up through your tricep up here. So I can feel this is firing hard up here, but also down at the bottom, you can feel the contraction really hard down here as well. So we're activating all these fibers. Now, in between these, I want you to stretch out a little bit. Okay. We're going to keep loosening everything up. The only rest period is going to be while the other guy goes. Tristan's put on a lot of size this offseason. His back's come up a lot. <laughs> good. Perfect. Very good contractions on both of these guys. They feel pretty healthy in here, which is good. They're not all broken like me. Mine, there's a lot of clicking and clacking when I do these. So when he's almost done, I want you to start here. There you go. 
Farther back. Farther back, come on. Good, good. Move right. Squeeze it. Come on, squeeze and hold. Good. Come on. Good. There you go. Getting huge. Come on. Good, Justin. Good. Good. Let's go, baby. Come on. Good. Let's go. Good. Squeeze the last one. There you go. Right over here. Fuck. 
I'm warmed up now. I'm getting my mind right. All right, so what we're doing now is one of my favorite exercises for back thickness because you're gonna hit the back in a little bit different angle. This is a two-arm dumbbell row. A lot of people don't do these because they're very tricky. You gotta, you have to have a stable core. Also, done wrong, you can bother your lower back. Now, done right, which I'm gonna demonstrate, you can actually really hit the thickness in your in your lower lats quite a bit. So, we're gonna have the guys. They're gonna use a little more weight than this. They're gonna be bent over and they're gonna be rowing the weight up. Both arms at the same time. So we're gonna come full extension at the bottom and then rowing back up. Very, very difficult exercise to do. When you do a one-arm row, you're bracing your whole body. So it's easy to stabilize and really pull that weight. Now you have nothing to stabilize yourself with, so there's a lot of stabilization that comes into play. But when done correctly, you're gonna hit that meat in the lats a lot more. We're gonna do four sets. And we're shooting in like a 10 to 12 rep range, so I would start a little conservatively and work our way up. So like, what do you want to start with? What do you think? 55, 60s? 55, 60s? Is that, is that okay with you, boss? Answer? I just did 55 for the, for the demonstration talking the whole time. I know, what I meant to say was 55 times two. I would do, start out with like, if I was as big and strong as you, uh -huh. I would well, start I'm out with like take the 70 off. to 75. <laughs> okay, now, now we're ready to do this. Remember, staying pretty bent over. Okay. Full extension of the bottom. Just pull those elbows all the way Try to get them holding towards your waist. Good. Good. Right here is where we're gonna hit a lot more. I can feel it firing really hard. This is a tricky, tricky spot to hit all the way. This is something that you get a little bit different when you do both arms at the same time. Good. That's very strict for him, so. Triple, three. I would uh, jump up at least 10 pounds. Okay. Yeah. So what are our rest periods? You will be those, that's your rest. Okay. <laughs> the next exercise I'm gonna give you guys longer rest time. The next exercise is not gonna be fun. Come on. It's been a while since you've done this. Yeah, I haven't done these since. You can, I can feel it contracting right here really hard. That's what we want. We're gonna okay, go good. Stay over the way, you know. Okay. Just try not to come up too well. Versa grip. Try to see You were very strict in the last one. Stay over. Good. Good. Very good. 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 Come on. Good. He's very big for you, Yeah. Go. What are you weighing right now? 255 this So we're the same weight? I feel like he looks like fucking way bigger than this. You're dieting, you have diet brain. That's what happens. You think everybody's bigger too. Really? 
<laughs> Guys, we're halfway done. Now we get to the fun part. Come on, man. Put that fitness on today. Maybe. Let's go. Good. Come on. Good. Control those weights. Good. Good. Right here. Good. 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 One more. I may want to wear your belt for this one. Sharing is caring, guys. <laughs> the fuck? It, it was the most that I've seen it, though. Like the whole muscle route of that. He said it. He said it. different than anybody when he was doing them. So now up until that point, most people, most of the great backs, guys like Lee Haney, they were doing your standard overhand barbell row. Bend over and rowing the weight up, right? Dorian, who thought very outside the box, really learned that for, for the back to get a full range of motion, it actually comes from the underhand motion, right? So when you're here versus here, your lat is actually fully stretched and engaged. So, taking that down like this, he changed his barbell rows into that underhand motion as well. Now the thing with the underhand motion, if you watch the way that Dorian Yates did them, versus many other people, is he stayed relatively upright and he kept the bar very close to his body. The reason for this is, when you bend over more, you let the bar travel away from your body. And when the bar travels away from your body, you're straining your back, hurting your back, which we don't want. You stay a little bit more upright, and we let the bar travel in this nice tight arc. You're going to contract the lats really, really hard and have a good stable base so you don't have to worry about hurting anything. Now, I'm going to make them go pretty heavy. This is one of those things that it's probably a good idea to wear a belt on because you can hurt yourself. Also, if you're a beginner, this is something you're going to want to do in the beginning of the workout when you're far more fresh. Now, these guys are advanced. 
The reason I'm having them doing it later on is now they're very fatigued, their muscles are gonna have to work that much harder. So we are gonna push heavy again on these, but I find that this particular exercise is probably the king of lower lat thickness building exercises. And if you look at the guy who made his famous Dorian Yates, he had one of the widest, thickest, beefiest backs ever. And like I said, before Dorian, nobody was really doing them like this. So we're gonna pay homage to him today because a lot of these guys don't do this stuff anymore. So I'm gonna make sure that their form is perfect. So they're gonna go pretty heavy. When you're doing your normal underhand barbell row, you're gonna be around shoulder width, okay? So a normal barbell row, you're all the way bent over. We don't want that, okay? I'm gonna have them about 70 degrees. And basically their arms are gonna be hanging at a stretch, and they're gonna row, 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 pulling into their lower, lower waist, all right? And then back down to full extension again. So it's a nice, tight squeeze that just right now, just from doing that lightweight, I can already feel it in my lower lats. So these guys are already fatigued. Their lower lats are gonna have to fire like crazy, but this is gonna give that bellying look from the bottom. So, it's one off of the 135 first. So we're going light, and then I would say like a 70% set, and then we're gonna go two sets all out as heavy as you can go. Okay. All right. So, we were just talking about that. We are like, yeah, we're about to end up doing like 405. I mean, <laughs> if we started fresh, I would expect that. Obviously, we don't want anybody getting hurt. Okay. So the way that I want you guys doing them is you were paying attention. How much? Okay. Only like, like seven, like seven here, degrees. Throwing yeah. in your hips. I got you. Here I can feel firing very, very hard. This is what we want. This lowest, most insertion point. Good. I mean, you're pretty warmed up. So after this, after this, I would do 225 for a very conservative set, gotcha. and then decide if you want to do 15 or whatever. We're gonna do two hard sets of eight. Again, this is what's going to really, really bring this meat out down here in the lower lats. These guys are already really fatigued, so the muscle's already been firing. It has to fire that much more. So you get that extension at the bottom. Good. Good. You're firing hard here. This is what I want. This is what I want. Good. 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 Remember, don't go crazy here. We're going to do two outside. Good. What do you want to do? You can definitely go through the piece. No, I'm saying, uh, if you're trying to do 315, you can definitely do 315. Then I'm going to do more than 315. Well, you have another set after. Oh, yeah. Just remember, I go after you, so. So we'll do 315. <laughs> so I just got to do something you can't do. Put five plates on. I got that one. Now, I want you guys to go really hard on both of these. So if this is it, stay with it. Because you, you, you've already done a lot bent over. So. Here we go. Which 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 one are you wearing it on? Huh? What hole are you wearing your it on? I don't know. What are you wearing it on? Let's see if you're wearing it on first. <laughs> I mean, I can make it tighter than that. It's not that tight. <laughs> what did he have it on? Smaller than that. Yep. Yeah, but he had it all squeezed, fucking like sucking his life out of it. I think he had it right there. You had it there? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I'm <laughs> fucking bigger. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Good form. Make this fucking bad move. Blow everyone away. We better get in the grow! 
Bend your knees when you pick it up. Come on. Good. 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 Let's see fucking what belt you have this on. It's like the same one. I don't know. I don't know. Shaking like a mofo. I would probably stay with that way. Yeah, that was sloppy. Yeah. I think I'll stay uh -oh. with that way. You can get one more time. It's not the best bet. Not bad for an old guy with GH belly. <laughs> what I'm not gonna do is barbell rows with 315 though. Come on. Last seven, dude. Get it strong. Come on. Strong back. Come on. Big reps. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Good. Good. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Push. Good. Come on. Nice. What's up, left? Yeah, no. Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. Good. Get more than eight. For where they are in the workout, they're getting hot. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna moving on. We're gonna do some bicep curls now, real strict. Now it's not Paul Callum. I'll show you. <laughs> oh Callum? Is that it's what you said? <laughs> Tear our biceps. <laughs> we're gonna superset two exercises that I like a lot. First of all, I love hammer strength. Not every gym has hammer strength machines. They're my favorite machines. I don't want to talk bad about a lot of the new equipment, but a lot of it is not necessarily like ergonomically correct. Hammer strength makes really, really good stuff. This gym, if you go around, you're gonna see hammer strength all over the place, which is awesome. Now, one machine that I love, that I don't get to see a lot, is the hammer strength underhand row. So I'm gonna have these guys go a little on the lighter side, okay? What we're gonna do, is we're gonna go full extension, we're gonna pull all the way down and get a nice hard squeeze at the bottom. They're gonna come up to full extension, okay? Now from there, I know you guys have seen me do these. This is another one that you can only do with hammer strength. I'm gonna pop over here. This is a hammer strength underhand low row, but we're not gonna do it with an underhand. It's my favorite variation. In fact, this is actually my favorite back exercise. So you're gonna go on here. You're gonna lean into this machine with an underhand like this. You're gonna go from full extension and you're gonna pull back really, really hard. But if you look at where I am right now, 
My elbows are pulling far too low for what I want for this exercise. So, I'm gonna put the seat a little lower. Now, when I pull, my elbows are gonna be a little higher up and I'm gonna get a contraction more towards the center of my back than the outside. So when, when you do it, I like you to lean forward a little bit and really concentrate on squeezing in. This is gonna get you in the lower lat, but the thickness that's closer to your spinal erector is out. And when you do it the right way, you're gonna feel it through here. Okay? So we're gonna superset this. We're gonna go get a nice full stretch and contract everything real hard and then come back over and do this. The, obviously today, the emphasis on everything that we're doing today is down here, is building all this beef out, okay? That's what we want today. So, you're gonna go first here. Now here you guys can probably go a little bit better. I wanted to be able to demonstrate that the right way and not look like an idiot. But, these are not exercises that you want to be going crazy heavy on. It's yeah. all about performing the contraction. Gotcha. So, yeah. What's up? We could do a band on, that would be really good too. Are we doing that in the next set? Next one. Okay. And we're grabbing this one underhand, correct? Staying all the way upright, keeping those elbows in. Keep that chest real, real high. And pull it all the way down. And squeeze real, real high. All the way up. Squeeze hard at the bottom. All the way up. Stay as upright as you can. There we go, perfect. Good. Get that chest real high and stay nice and upright. Good. 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 Come on. Stay upright, upright, upright. Please. Let's get another one. Hold this one a little longer. It's going to be the last one. I want you to really hold it. Squeeze hard. Good job. Now you can come over here. Remember your knee Good. Good. Come on. 
that? You want to put a band on there? Yeah. And um, good. All the way down. Just all the way back. Squeeze hard. Try to hold it for a full second. The bottom. Okay. Up, up, up. Squeeze. There you go. Come on. Come on. Squeeze all those muscles out. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, good. squeeze. Come on. Squeeze. Sit in. Get that chest real, real high. Right side, little back. Come on. Squeeze it. There you go. Good. Good. There you go. Good. Yeah. Right in here. Come on. Fill it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Again. Come on. All the way. Good. Uh, push. Good. A couple more. Come on. Up, up, up. Squeeze all the way back. There we go. Come on. Up, up, up. There you go. Uh, oh. Jeez. All right, so some of you guys who actually follow me close on my regular personal Instagram will see I mess around with bands a lot. So we've added this resistance band here. Now this is not too, too much resistance, but what's cool about the bands is we're gonna have constant tension the whole time. I actually do a lot of stuff where I'm not even using free weights, where I'm doing lots of bands, and I can control the tension with the band. So when you add a band onto an exercise like this, you're just keeping that tension through the full range of motion which for now when we're doing all these slow reps is making it a lot more challenging, but we're gonna get a lot more blood in this area. These are also great for rehabilitation. So if you've got injuries, things like that, you go really light and focus on those bands coming through for everything. It's gonna do quite a bit for you. So this is the last set they're gonna do of these exercises. We'll go really, really strict with the form, and we're gonna get really, really good contractions on this. Halfway 
again. Oh, come on, come on. All the way back. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Three more. Three more. You got more. Push. Come on. Come on. Three. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Back. Two. There you go. One more. One more. Keep your chest forward. Keep your chest forward. Push, 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 push. Hold it. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh. Oh. Staying, this is what you want to be. His chest is upright. <sighs> you let your chest slouch. You're not going to get the proper contraction. <sighs> Come on. Squeeze. <sighs> you got more. Come on. Good. Keep going. You got more. Squeeze it. <sighs> Come on. Hold. Let's do two more. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Hold, hold, hold. <sighs> One more. Good. Squeeze the shit out of it. There you go. That's a good one. Go Two. Three. Let's go. Get it all the way back. Good. Good. Five. Good. Six. Come on. Good. Seven. Come on. Good. Come on. Nice. Keep holding them. Good. Come on. Good. Chest forward. There, there you go. go. Let's go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There you hold go. it. There nice. you go. Yeah. 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 One more exercise. So if he's down, you don't want to keep that blood, blood flowing. <laughs> All right. So I love this gym. And this is one of the reasons why I come here is specifically for this machine. I haven't seen this gym, this machine anywhere else. So what we're going to do here, we're going to finish out now with a superset. Since this is new, we'll start here to make sure the form is different. I've never done this, but this is what's cool about machines. You can play around and, and learn different things. So just Tristan just pulled a Charles Glass on me. So leaning back, back is arched up. Pulling down, 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 down. Pull the elbows back. You're going to contract, squeeze everything. I actually feel this like basically through my entire posterior chain. I can even feel it all the way down in my, in my erectors. All the way back up, full extension. Then, we're gonna flip around. When you do these, I want you real, real, real upright. I want the elbows coming back and squeezing at the bottom like when you do a back double bar. All right? So we're gonna finish off, we're gonna burn the back out completely now. This one we're grabbing here like this? Yeah, we're wrap up and slide off. Move back like this, chest Start up. Your back. Yep. Keep that chest really high up. Over accentuate. Over the arch. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this does feel good. Yeah. Really stretch. Let's get it cool. Let's do 
好贵，哎。Squeeze down. Good. Come on. Squeeze all the way down. There we go. Lean forward a little bit. Right there. Pull back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Again. Let's get a little bit lower. Come on. Push. There we go. Come on. Yeah, oh yeah, way hard. Push. Come on, one more. Again, again. Hold it, hold it. Nice and slow. Fuck. I heard you say nice and slow. I, I had already like released. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're like, it's donor. already don't happen. We say donor. <laughs> Let's go. Baby. Last one. Finish strong.
Squeeze that contraction hard to the bottom. Push. There you go. Okay, come on, I'll be up. All the way down. Squeeze, squeeze, hold it. Right. Two more. Down. Hold. Slow on the way up. One more like that. All the way down. Hold, hold, hold. Slow. Slower. Come on, fight it, fight it, fight it. Thank you. Oh. We're gonna run through these two times like we always do. So we're gonna go through the first time fast, quarter turn. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna hold all the seconds. It's hamstring so hard. His boots are already coming off of it. Quarter turn. His first time through, his, his, his shots are always a little bit off. And then the second time he knows everything. Quarter turn. Scoot towards the wall a little bit. Front left spread. It's already way bigger than it was last time. Just like to Side chest. He's a little flat today. Yeah, um, I, the last time. I know when he's flat. He's, he was listening to fucking idiot Sammy to tell him that was telling him to pull his food out. Yeah. Um, I could see it when he was working out. Because I of that, tell. because of that, he, he's not as grainy as he is. Yesterday when he posed, he was grainier than he is today. Um, abs and back. Stand up a little taller. Quarter turn. Look forward. Control your stomach. Quarter turn. Good. Bring those down, arms down just a little bit. Do me a favor. Do a back last spread. Okay. Just do it. Don't worry about your legs, just your back last spread. Okay. Open, open, open. All right, so now just try to bring your arms out just a little bit from there. Bring my arms out? Yeah, just let go and try to keep your arms out from there. Oh, I see what you're saying. If you're back, there you go. That's actually a lot better, dude. You just gave yourself so much lower back thickness. Do what you were doing before. Just do your regular back last spread. Like my... Yep. Watch this difference. All right, now do what I just told you to do. Open it up, open, open, open. Now just keep your arms a little bit out. There you go. You just, dude, you're just sticking your, your back. You just gave yourself like two inches of thickness. Something that you're doing when you're lifting your arms up too high like that, you're like long, it's making your torso longer. Oh no shit. That actually is, I, I can see what Natty Shack was trying to do with you, with your back poses, but you're, you can fix it by doing that. He wanted you to just stick your ass out real far and get it. Yeah. It's more or less that you are coming too far forward with your arms and you're coming up too much and you're, you're actually making your torso longer. I'm like a long game. I don't know why I didn't realize that, that, that sooner. You're, you're going longer with your torso. So think about it, like you don't hit a last spread like that. Yeah. You hit your last spread the opposite. You actually make yourself smaller. Yeah. So when you did that, you just bellied out your lats way more. I'm actually gonna video that in a second. Open, 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 open. There you go. Lift up a little more. Very good. 
go to face front. Most muscular, hit your legs. There you go. Crab. And let's go to a side chest. Pull back, blow out. Hold it. Good. All right, so we killed a very, very hard and heavy back workout today. They burned a lot of calories. Now coming into this workout, Dan is a little low on food. He has also been a little lower on carbs for a few days, just an experiment. And now from seeing him, he, to me, is flatter than I want him to be. And when you're flat, you happen to look softer and smaller. So we're gonna put the carbs back in keep his cardio and everything consistent. And the next time you see him pose on video, which well, maybe would be in a week or two, you're gonna see him look considerably harder and that's gonna make him look bigger as well. So it's the manipulation of food is what's gonna dictate all this stuff. No matter how hard you train, like these guys did today, if your calories are not there or if your nutrition is off, it's gonna throw off your whole physique. That's something I always try to preach to you guys. So special thank you to Tristan for coming and helping him push harder when he's tired and not eating enough. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. This was an intense, hard workout. I do think that even if you're a beginner, you can do this workout. Just be careful with your weights. And stay tuned for more Project Freak. As always, peace out, bye.